Good morning, I'm John Ellsworth, founder of Incorporated and the creator of the Success Strategies. Welcome you to today's video entitled, Would You Even Consider Doing This? One of my most favorite and enjoyable gifts that I got this Christmas was a placard, a new placard from my office. Uh, had a cow in a pickup truck at the back of a pickup truck, and on the driver's door, it was entitled, uh, Cow on the Prowl. It was put together by Marla Ray, and I want to give her credit for that, of course. And at the top of the placard, it had a what I think is a fabulous quote, and it was this. It said, live like someone left the gate open, end of quote. I think that's generally good advice for any of us as we enter this new year. And I want you to think about what new challenges you want to overcome this year and what changes you can make, uh, especially if they are not cost prohibitive, to move forward in your operation and make it even more successful uh, in this year. Uh, by the way, I want to ask you one question. Have you set some new objectives for this year? If you're running a dairy operation, how about setting an objective of 80 pounds per cow per day on Holsteins, or if you have a Jersey operation, maybe 60 pounds per cow per day. Uh, with the projected high prices in the industry this year, I, I mean, why capitalize on it with higher milk flow? Uh, have you set up the DRP, the Dairy Revenue Protection Program, or the Dairy Margin Coverage Program? I think you can do them both now, and often the best time to buy into these things is when prices are higher as milk prices are right now, or are projected to be in uh, this year. Uh, feed costs are still going to be high and could present some pressures, some negative pressure on your margins anyway. So, um, and besides, I think we need to be optimistic because the milk prices that are projected to be high this year are not necessarily guaranteed. I hope for your sake that they are that they do come in high, but there's no guarantee that that's actually gonna happen, of course, since it's up as much as 12 months away. Um, so, but I want you to think about this question. What's it mean to live like someone left the gate open? I think it's an open-minded way of thinking. I think it will help you to look at new possibilities, maybe try some new tasks, uh, and maintain a good attitude, regardless of those daily events, which have, uh, at least occasionally. The key is to increase our productivity and maybe also improve your banking relationships. Crucial, of course, as you've heard me say a million times before, um, to know your cost of production. On a dairy, it's a cost per hundredweight. What's it take you to produce 100 pounds of milk? If you don't know this and you need some assistance with it, I am happy to help you. You can reach out to me. Uh, in terms of almonds, grapes, what's your cost per acre? You need to know this to project what you're going to uh, make, you know, on a per acre basis in the coming year. If you're running a manufacturing facility, uh, no matter what product you're making, it's the cost per unit sold that's crucial. Because remember, as I said before numerous times, if you measure it, you can understand it. If you understand it, you can control it. And once again, if you can control those things, you can improve them, which helps your bottom line. These are absolutely crucial factors. And if you know your costs per hundredweight, per acre, per unit manufactured, whatever your measurement is for your particular industry, if you know your cost, you can project your revenue uh, in a fairly reliable manner. Uh, you have some really powerful options. And they are as follows. Number one, you, continue as, you can continue as is and reap the profitability that rewards that are there for you. Number two, you can make further improvements to your bottom line by adjusting and fine tuning your operation. And number three, you could even go so far as to change your entire business or even sell it. However, I would suggest sell it at the most optimal time. But the biggest benefit if you live and operate like someone left the gate open, uh, you will be open to exploring new options. You'll refine your business pathways and choose the best options specifically for you and your operation. And that, my friends, is the most
direct path to success. I want to wish you the best in this new year. Again, I'm John Ellsworth, founder of Success Strategies Incorporated and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. And I want to thank you for listening. Thank you very much.